have an exhibition called Build a Better Baby Carriage. And it actually celebrates the 100th anniversary of Norman Rockwell's very first cover for the Saturday Evening Post. And that was called Boy with Baby Carriage. It was published on Saturday, May 20th, 1916. And uh, for Rockwell, it was a huge step in the right direction in terms of his career. Uh, he called the Saturday Evening Post the greatest show window in America for an illustrator. And until that time, he had been doing illustration, but not for major publications. He had been the art editor of Boy's Life magazine. He had done illustrations for children's stories. And it was really not until his first illustration for the Post was accepted and published that he became uh, somebody who was really on a path to great success. So uh, we thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, call attention to the anniversary. And we're so grateful to the artists who participated in creating their own uh, baby carriage related installation piece. And as you may have noticed already, they're all on the path uh, that leads to Norman Rockwell's studio. So it's a great connection from the museum building to Rockwell's own work workplace. Oh, my name is Betsy Kosher. I've done several of these public art sculptures, uh, and so I heard about this one, Build a Better Baby Buggy, and I thought, I could do that. <laughs> and actually, my husband came up with the idea of the giraffe, but I've done other giraffes. I have a giraffe that's reading a book in a library, and I have a giraffe that's on a sneaker at the Forest Park Zoo. So. I've done a couple of other drafts so it was something I knew what to do. Cool. <laughs> I only had two and a half weeks to do it. Well, you did this in two and a half weeks, that's amazing. <laughs> and this, and is, this is clay? It's, it's epoxy clay. It's okay. the kind of clay that you mix together and then you have about an hour before it hardens. Okay. So you have to sculpt whatever you want and gotcha. it's based on a, a very elaborate um, armature under under things so it really looks like a giraffe before you put the clay on okay and then the clay is like a thick skin oh cool so uh, and it's very, cool. very um outdoor proof you know the elements won't hurt it it's sprayed so okay. that it shouldn't uh you know shouldn't uh, lose its color or anything like that cool very cool so and can you tell speak a little bit about it in terms of the uh the, the panda and the giraffe and the well the giraffe is the baby carriage right. it's her lap and her name is ginger and she is holding an i ipad that is singing little abc songs to her uh, to the baby and um, the giraffe is just there for moral support she's just yeah. um I mean the panda. The panda is the giraffe's friend. And there's a little bird up here and it's uh, motion activated so it oh, yeah. chirps. And a little butterfly. I raise monarch so everything has to have a monarch butterfly on it. Nice. And um, that doll is about 35 years old. Oh, dear. <laughs> it was my daughter's. Yeah. Oh, so that scratch. tells you how old she is. And the quilt is a crazy quilt that's absolutely elaborate. And um, I thought that was appropriate for there. And um, I, I borrowed an idea from a very great artist named Patience Brewster. She does uh, a lot of tables with um, high heels. And she did some uh, reindeer um, with high heels. So I thought my giraffe should have some high heels. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So sometimes we we share ideas. <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. So. Uh, I, my name's Tom Fiorini. Um, this is my junkyard baby buggy, and I, you can see I've used plenty of vintage license plates. Uh, hubcaps are from the '60s. Cars from the '60s. This here is a uh, blinker probably from the 1930s. I got some horseshoes here. I got the old two wrenches. I got a couple keys on there. Um, I got the old auger, auger drills, and the old curve street sign. That's probably from the 1930s. And the old valve, the old valve handles on there. 
some really old license plates. I got a 1913 license plate in there. I have a uh, Outback license plate in there. And the interior is the back of it is a treadle from an old sewing machine. Okay. The other square things here from an old uh, old cook stove. Yeah. And that's a floor a uh, floor register. Nice. And this heart shaped thing I call that heart wrenching. <laughs> and with an antique baby bottle uh, hanging in the the center. Gorgeous. Nice. Is this? Uh, uh, is this? Uh, do you do a lot of these type of sculptures? Yeah, I do. Junk. I like to. I like to call it junk sculpture. Okay. And I have a, a show. I've had a show up in Lenox for uh, 36 years, on Church Street, which is, it's there. It's outside. Oh, yeah. it's, it's there all the time. Cool. Very and nice. I'm heading up there later, and I'll be there all summer, and a lot of new stuff up there. And I go to the auto auto swap meets, flea markets. Everyone wants to know where I get my junk, and uh, I usually tell people I get a lot of it in the basement of the Alamo. And uh, yes, there's no basement. <laughs> yeah, there is. Oh, there, there is. is. Yeah, there you is look it up. Okay. Look it up. There is. Okay. Yeah, okay. look we'll it up. Yeah. Up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank all you right. Much. I appreciate it. Okay.